Hi everyone, um, thank you for taking the time to have a little look um, at the VTech ICT course. Um, we would love to have um, you on the course next year. The course is generally run by myself and Mr. McDonald, okay, and it's focused on social media, web development, and also the theory behind ICT. So during this presentation, we're going to take you through the different aspects of the course, what to expect, um, and what some of the areas are that you're going to be covering. So the qualification, the idea of it is to be an introduction to information technology. We do go in depth at social media and the impact that that can have on a business as well as linking nicely to the website unit. Um, but the idea behind it is that it gives you an overall view of what ICT technology can be so that if you want to go on to college or university and look at it in more depth, you would have that basis of knowledge. Um, we are looking for people who are genuinely interested in ICT and social media. Um, we don't say that you have to have any sort of prior knowledge, so it's accessible to beginners. And a lot of times people have come on from other um, qualifications such as computer science, um, who just love the idea of being involved with the ICT and the creative side to it, because it is more of a creative flair than the computer studies. So computer science is looking at what's going on inside the computing, it's the programming elements of it, whereas our course is much more of a creative element where you get to use the software, how can that help and enhance, and it ties nicely in with the business elements as well. Um, there are four key topics. So we work with the peers in the exam board. The first one is information technology systems, so that's a theory-based um, unit. There is managing information systems through databases, this is usually delivered by Mr. McDonnell. Uh, there is social media in business, which is uh, delivered by myself, Mrs. Lawson, and there is website development. Website and information technology systems are shared between me and Mr. McDonnell. We generally tend to have a 50-50 split. Um, and a little bit more in detail about each of those. So the first one is the managing information systems. Now it's got a little M after it because it's mandatory. You have to complete this unit in order to complete the course. Um, it's externally assessed and it's in the form of an exam. Uh, we will teach you the theory. Alongside that, we do quite a lot of guest speakers, practical aspects and past exam questions. This is usually done in year 13. Um, the second unit is creating a system to manage information. This is a database unit done by Mr. McDonnell. Now, he teaches you all the theory behind it and you will sit a practical exam, which is five hours. It's given over a one week period, and Mr. McDonald would decide how that was split up. And there are two assessment periods. So there's one in December, January. And because we do this in year 12, we generally don't feel that students are well enough prepared by that point. So we tend to do it in the May, June time. Now, if you did it in the May, June time, but you felt that um, it, you didn't get the grade that perhaps you wanted to, you then have an opportunity within year 13 to resit it should you wish, and that's why the December, January date is there. The social media unit, it's just taught by myself. That is a termly assessed unit. There are two main projects that you have to create. Assignment A, which is looking at the general use of social media and the platforms and demographic, and assignment B and C, which is where you focus on one particular local business and you look at a social media campaign for them. Um, the final unit, which is the web unit, this is internally assessed, so again, it's a piece of coursework. There are two elements. One is looking at um, website design, which is a written report, and the second one is where you create an actual website. The um, nice thing you have to think about when you're looking at, um, especially the social media unit, is thinking about what is topical within the country at that time. So a little activity for you to have a go at doing. What do we think the top five Google searches were in Britain? from January to April. Um, if you want to have a go at doing this, feel free to pause it um, and you can test yourselves. So number one, AirPods. Number two, grocery store. Number three, pancake recipes. Number four, ITV player. And number five, hot tubs. So you may be able to think about how that linked in with the start of the COVID crisis. So, why would you choose to do this unit? So why are these elements important? So this is a really nice way of thinking about how businesses can utilize things like social media. 
and generally within businesses now it's an actual uh, role in itself so looking at how they're engaging with the users um, which posts are getting the most likes retweets shares etc and it's identifying what can you use within social media to make your business successful and a lot of people just use social media to build their company brand we also work with something called Google Analytics, which is the ability to look behind the website. So where is your traffic coming from? How far are they getting in your site? Which page is the most popular? Why is that the most popular? How can you utilize whatever feature you're using there on the other pages to ensure that you're getting as much exposure as you possibly can? Okay, another little game for you, a little game of higher and lower. So we're gonna look at a number of different celebrities and businesses. And I want you to say whether you think the amount of followers, likes, etc., they've got is higher or lower than the next. If you don't want to do this, feel free to skip up, skip on. Uh, so we'll start off with Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola, how many likes do we think it has? 105 million. So next one, Kim Kardashian on Instagram. Do we feel that she's got more or less followers? 192 million followers. Up against her is her sister, Kylie Jenner. And we're looking at Instagram. Does she have more or less in terms of followers? 201 million followers. Up against her, Cristiano Ronaldo. On Instagram, has he got more or less? Indeed, he has more, 243 million. And then finally, up against David Beckham, who has 65 million. Now, a single post from Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner for a business could see that business expand massively. Okay, so if you think about the amount of followers they've got and the amount of people that they could reach with certain products to endorse them, and with the social media, that's the kind of element that you'll be thinking about. So wider opportunities. So we get to work with a number of different employers. Um, Pre-COVID, we visited lots of workplaces, lots of trips and guest speakers. Um, and obviously we'd hope that once COVID um, is over, we will get, be able to regain that. Um, and job prospects. So there are a number of different jobs out there based uh, that you could get based on what the qualifications that you've got with us. So because we look at those four key elements, you could do things like head of social media, you could be director of creative media, there's web developing, uh, database analysts. So there's lots of opportunities out there and it might be worth taking a little bit of time to look through some of those jobs before you pick your options. Okay, look at what they involve, what would be your responsibilities, does that feel like it's something that would interest you? The results so far, um, so last year's results, we had 100% of students who passed um, and they were then broken down so 29 percent of the kids who passed achieved a distinction or above and 71 percent achieved a merit or above now the way that the btech ict works is it's graded as either pass merit or distinction so it's not graded in your usual a to e grades um, so we need to be, bear that in mind if you have any questions, then please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm more than happy to talk through any elements of it if you wish. Um, and the, we have students available who can talk you through the course that they're on currently, what they like about it, areas that they might think you need to look at or focus or discuss, then that's absolutely fine.